Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. I have my February favorites for you guys today. We're already into the third month of 2016. Really does not feel like it at all. I have no idea how January and February flew by. But um, anyway, let's get into it since I have a couple of things to share with you guys. Um, I've done a bit of traveling in Feb, so I don't have that many new products that I tried. But I do have a lot of old favorites that I have been using and trying again and absolutely loving. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Starting with skincare, I have these two new products that I tried this month. Um, I've spoken about them on my blog already. So I will link the post in the info box below in case any of you guys want to go check that out. These are from this brand called Organic Harvest. In case you haven't heard of the brand, they make a lot of um, natural skincare items that are eco-friendly and free of chemicals and all of that. Um, so this is their blush and glow range. Um, this is the cream and this is the serum. I have been using them um, every day, twice a day, morning and night for the past I would say three weeks maybe and I really like them um, my skin feels much more hydrated I would say the first about two or three two or three weeks of Feb were kind of um, a bit chilly in the nights at least in Bombay for me they were chilly I have very low tolerance for cold weather and my skin is also very dry so these have been making my skin feel super hydrated the only thing that bothers me a little bit, it's not something to stop me from using the product but I feel like the smell is a little strong for my liking. Once I use it, I feel like I can still smell it for a while and then it goes away and that tends to make my throat feel a little um, sore, like I have a sore throat for a little while after that. Not sure how it's related but... Um, Certain smells do affect my throat. Anyway, apart from that, I think this range has been doing a really good job for my skin. And maybe once I'm out of these two products, I'll probably try another range from their collection. Next in skincare, we have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've used this for about two years now and I love the product. Um, if your skin feels a little dull or lifeless or needs a little bit of a pick-me-up, and um, you have sensitive skin that's maybe acne prone basically this repairs your skin and it really helps so personally for me this is more of like a soothing product because firstly I feel the smell is really soothing and relaxing and um, apart from that it also helps my skin feel much calmer if I feel like my skin is going through a bad phase I just use a bit of this and I feel so much better I have been going through a sort of bad phase with my skin this month so this has been working really well for me now on to makeup I'm actually going to be running through this video because my battery is already flashing so I'm very worried it'll stop recording the first thing that I have been loving this month is the Sephora smoothing primer it's absolutely amazing it reminds me of benefits professional which is actually saying a lot this was sent to me by Sephora and ever since I got it this is all I've been using before I apply my makeup on to foundation, I have Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation this month. I took a break from my Infallible for a few days in Feb because I got this from Sephora recently. So I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation around two years ago and I really really liked it but um, I, don't, I didn't remember my shade when I went to Sephora this time and I was slightly tanned from my trip in Goa which is why this shade is slightly darker than my actual skin tone. This is in the shade 2W2 but I would probably be one or two shades lighter naturally. I still have a bit of my tan left but anyway I can still make do with this foundation. Once you put it on your face it is not going to budge. I'm wearing it today and it has really really good coverage so if you're looking for a good um, foundation that lasts very long and has very good coverage I would say definitely go for this one. The only downer is that it doesn't come with a pump but I am completely ready to forgive that. Now on to lipsticks. Um, I have four lipsticks to talk about this month. Um, the first two are actually the lipsticks that I'm wearing today. I've mixed two shades. I wore these at least for 12 to 15 days out of the 29 in Feb. I'm not even kidding. I love the way it looks with my skin tone and I just love this shade so much. Um, they are two Sephora lipsticks. Um, they both are matte. 
This one is in the shade N06 and this is in the shade N04. They both have um, brown, mauve and pink tones to them and those are the kind of lipsticks that I absolutely love. Um, I bought both of these at two separate times from Sephora but when I wore them together, I just loved how they turned out. A lot of you guys asked me about this shade on Instagram because I wore it for a couple of shoots um, this month and so I thought I would mention it here. I think this is like the perfect lip combo for my skin tone. My next two lipsticks are from the L'Oreal La Vie en Rose collection. I have been using these two a lot this month. The first one is Naomi's Delicate Rose. Um, it's a very pale nude. I wouldn't say very, very pale because it doesn't make me look pale and I love nude lipsticks. But it is kind of pale and it has a very slight um, pink tone to it. Second one is a liquid lipstick and this is Sonam's uh, signature pink. It's a velvet matte texture. It's a really really bright pink and it's so summery and perfect for spring as well. So I've been wearing this a lot. I've also been wearing Katrina's shade a little bit but I like this one more personally. Now onto the nails. I have been absolutely loving Sonam's nail shade. Um, from the Lavion on Rose collection. I'm currently wearing Aishwarya's shade which is a really bright pink but this is a more nudish pink. It's just that perfect shade that's literally right up my alley so I absolutely love it. Next up I have the Sephora Strawberry Moisturizing Body Lotion. Now I am not the biggest fan of um, a strawberry scent but this one, oh my goodness you guys. Oh my god, it just smells it smells absolutely divine. I did post a picture of this on my Snapchat recently but if you stop by Sephora, just go and give this particular range a sniff. They do have a lot of other scents that are very nice. The blueberry one is very nice and so is the vanilla. But personally, if you ask me, this is an absolute favourite. I have been loving this product. I actually really enjoy uh, moisturising my body now. I used to be a little lazy before about it but this is amazing. The next product that I have been really liking is a liquid hand wash. This is the Bath and Body Works Holiday Traditions Snow Kissed Berry Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. Now it is deep cleansing because it has um, fine particles in it which are the same kind of stuff that you would find in a face scrub or a body scrub and it's actually very deep cleansing once I use this to wash my hands. My hands feel so soft. I know that you don't get Bath & Body Works in India. Someone was traveling, I mean coming down from the US so I asked them to pick it up for me. It smells like berries but it has like an edge to it. Maybe that's the whole snow kissed part. I really don't know but I love the scent. My next favorite is a candle. Um, now I posted a picture of a few Bath & Body Works. Oops. I posted a picture of a few Bath & Body Works candles um, on Snapchat in December. Like I mentioned someone was coming down from the US so I asked them to pick up some Bath & Body Works stuff for me. Um, they got me around 4 or 5 of the holiday limited edition candles. The first one that I have been burning quite a bit is in the scent Holiday. These candles are actually so precious to me because I know that I can't get them in India and I feel like I'm going to make the most of them. I still haven't burnt the others. One is burning there but I just started burning it two days ago and I'm just being so stingy about them because I don't want them to get over. I know that these are mainly for the winter and holiday season time but I really don't care. I'm going to use these for as long as I can. This particular one is supposed to have the warmth and spices of the holidays that are captured in a special blend of cinnamon and clove with a hint of fresh bergamot. I'm hoping that's how you pronounce it. It is quite a sweet smelling candle but it has that spicy cinnamony um, edge to it which is probably why I like it so much. I have one hair product that I wanted to talk about. This is by Kerastase and it's from their Serum Therapist range. Um, it's the dual treatment fiber quality renewal care for extremely damaged lengths and ends. So this was sent to me by Kerastase along with a few other products and I tried this out about two weeks ago and I have been loving it. It is so good. I use it mainly um, on the ends of my hair because I do tend to get um, split ends and my hair is very dry. 
so it just works absolute wonders for my hair my hair feels so much softer after i've used this i use about a coin sized amount on my hair once it's wet just after a shower and it's amazing you guys have to try it if you have dry damaged hair definitely give it a shot my next two favorites are books the first one is this journal that was very kindly sent to me by Jepper Jewels sorry about that my camera died um, I'm going to continue from where I left off it's got a calendar come planner type format to it and it also has um, enough pages to write down anything that may be important basically take notes and I feel like it's so handy it's the perfect size to fit in your handbag and it's also personalized it has my name uh, written down here in gold which is very exciting. Now, like I mentioned, I have been traveling a little bit in Feb and it has been very hectic managing shoots and work and all of that. So I do tend to get a little overwhelmed and very stressed out. Um, I get stressed out very easily and it usually shows up straight on my face. Um, I'll tend to break out the moment I feel a little bit stressed. So I have been looking for an adult colouring book for a very long time because I am personally very fond of colouring and all this creative stuff and um, I felt like it would be a way for me to de-stress and calm down. A couple of months ago a friend of mine told me about this colouring book on ASOS which was exactly like what I was looking for and um, it wasn't that expensive compared to the ones that I was seeing on Amazon and all. They were around three to 4,000 or something on those lines and this wasn't that bad. It's called Keep Calm and Color On and it's got quite a few intricate um, designs for you to color in. I take about 10 to 15 minutes off on a day that I'm feeling particularly stressful and I'll just color for a bit and I suddenly feel so much better. I find that it's always best for me to do it before I go to bed because I just sleep so well after that. I'm currently coloring this particular page. And it's also got a few quotes um, written. This one says, put your heart, mind and soul into even your smallest acts. This is the secret to success. That's actually so true. I've been really enjoying this book throughout Feb. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. If it is still available on ASOS, I will leave a link to it below. So you guys can also get your hands on it if you like. So those were all my February favorites. Um, I'd love to know what you guys have been loving throughout Feb. Let me know in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on all of my social media. The links are below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!